Good morning. It is 5.43 in the morning. This is a typical morning for me. And we're going to do a get ready with me. I have received coffee. One sec. So many requests for me to show folks or to do a tutorial on how I do my um, brows, especially, but also how I do my eye makeup. So we're going to do a get ready with me so I can show you how I do my brows and my eye makeup. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I use three products here to do my brows. I use the oh, Urban Norman. I use the Urban Decay Brow Blade. I use the Anastasia um, pencil with the spoolie on the end. Let the camera adjust a little bit. And I use the Anastasia ink pen. These products together do my brows. I do ink and I do pencil and it gives the brow a depth. You, you can see that I have brows but they're very sparse and so I sort of have to work with that but it works really well because it's not just color on skin, it's just filling in the brows that I have left. Okay. I start by brushing up my brows. Brush, brush, brush. Brush, brush, brush. Okay, brush up. Shake, shake. This is the Urban Decay Brow Blade in Universal Taupe. Oh, sorry, Taupe Trap. Okay, so what I do is, I'm gonna try and get my mirror right here. I take the ink side, I take the ink side, and I just go right in and just swipe, swipe, swipe. I don't try to do individual hairs at this point. Okay, so I just fill in. Again, Norman is giving us the background. So just fill in. And I'm being very loose about it. So I'm just sort of like running the brush, you can see, being very kind of sloppy about it because I really just want to get the ink into the brow at this point. And I go all the way up. Um, up here. And I'm holding the brush like this. You see, just doing like this. Okay, same thing over here. So just swiping, swiping. And I don't come down too low. In fact, I have tweezed from here up to here. Because as you get older, I mean, if you're a young woman, young man, and your brows come down further, it's not as big of a deal because your face is more full and lifted. But as you age, everything gets sort of dragged down. Okay, so you can see there I could leave just like that. I mean, that's pretty much done. And that's just a little bit. I've just kind of swiped in there, okay? And then I let them dry for a second. Come back with the spoolie. Brush, brush, brush. Brush, brush, brush. And then I go in with the um, tip of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, and I just kind of define the bottom part of the brow. All right, so just, just come in and go just below. And that way you give yourself a really nice frame for, um, for this part of the eye, which is going to get eyeshadow. Same thing over here. 
especially people over a certain age because it really does lift the brow up here. Oh. But I don't want to go too far up because I don't want to give the brow a kind of mask appearance. I really want it to stay bushy and that, and you can see those brow hairs nice and bushy. I don't want it to look plastic. I just want it to be defined. And there's a little place in there that I want to get. If you go too hard in above, you tend to kind of have that plasticky look. And so that's not what I'm after. I still want the brow hairs to be very natural and kind of a little bit all over the place. Okay. Then I go in with the brow pen from, with the brow pen from, um, from Anastasia. And I just do a little hit here and there. This is a little bit darker of a pen. So I just go in here and there and give myself a little bit of highlight or low light, I guess, in this case and define. And I do a few little brush strokes in the front of the brow very kind of haphazardly. I just stroke in. Here and there. Okay, so at this point I could head out with just some mascara. My brows are filled in, but I'm gonna go ahead and give them a swipe of the Anastasia um, Brow Fix. Just and I just swipe up. That's all I do. Because again, I want the brows not to look plastic and and ha I don't want them to look like they have been stamped on. And I don't want them to look like they have a defined border. But I want down here to be relatively cleaned up. And I think that is what people respond to, is that cleaned up edge. Right. Then I go in with It Cosmetics Perfect Lighting. It is one of these clicky pens, like that. I go on the back of my hand and I smash the brush so that I can create a kind of flat edge. And then I go right in at the bottom of the brow and sweep around and then pull down. And this really cleans up the edge of the brow. Then I just tap it to blend it. And that's it. You can see the difference from this brow to this brow. You instantly get this lifted, defined, cleaned up edge. You could use concealer. I don't use concealer because it's too thick for my skin. Okay, and there it is. That's, that's really the brow as it is. Then I go back to where I um, smash the brush. And this is important. I go right backwards like this and pick up a little product on the edge of the brush. And then I give myself a little highlight right at the top of the brow. Okay, and then I just tap the excess. So just an extra little bit right up in the arch. and then just tap around to make sure that I've got all the excess out. Okay, and then the same on the other side. And then we'll go on and do our, the rest of our eye makeup. First of all, I tight line. I use this Fieve. This is a new product, it's not sponsored, I just love it. This is the Vive 
eye wand in Raven, I think it is, and I use it almost like a um, an eyeliner. So I just pull the lid up like this and just right into the lash line, up like this, right into the lash line. And see instantly, like definition. Love this. And this does not transfer to the lower lid. It doesn't budge, smudge, move. This is a miracle product. I'm telling you, it's not sponsored, but I use it because I love it. And I have two other colors that I love. Eyeshadow primer, y'all. These pens don't need that. They are so great in that way. They just stick. And once you, um, when you put them on and you um, blend them in, they're very workable. But once you get them worked in, they stay right there. And again, I could leave like... Just smudge, smudge, smudge. Okay. And then I'm gonna go in with mahogany. And you're gonna be so shocked, y'all. Like, literally, this is it. That's it. Brush. And then just swipe into the crease. That's it. And not much, and not much. It is like magic. It's a magic formula. And you see, again, I'm not being, I'm not being precious or um, careful, really. Um, the only thing I'm doing is just making sure that the edges of where I've put the color are blended out, so it's not, um, so that it's kind of a wash. Okay. And that's it. Now, I'm gonna do my mascara and I will come back to you. Okay, so mascara's on. I'm gonna use, show you my um, concealer, which I've loved. It's brand new. It is the Forever, Dior Forever Skin Correct. It is, I mean, you see I have these hereditary dark circles. And all I do is go in and just pat. Just pat, pat, pat. And I didn't do my mascara on my bottom lashes yet because I want to get this product down. I used to do the whole like highlight around the eye like the big strip but it's just too much makeup for my aging skin and tends to make me look older and it tends to kind of encourage that crepey creasy um dry look And that's not cute. I used to never put powder under my eyes, but I learned how to do it very carefully. I've got a mini 
uh, Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Powder, I think it is. I'll put it in the description box. I've got a mini one. It was like $25. Um, and I just go right in and then press, 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 press. And I come straight down the nose because that is where you don't want the shine and you see right away. Much more, much more like, um, uh, it's not shiny, it's not dry either. It's just a nice balance. It kind of gets rid of that nasolabial fold a little bit. Um, and then just same thing on the other eye. Press, 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 and then I just come straight down. I don't go too far over here with powder. I just come straight down. And then I do also this area of my chin. I have hereditary chin wrinkles. Everyone has something. And then I go in with just a little bit of blush. I'm using to I'm the By Terry product lately. Oh, the beach balm. Okay, and I'm just doing a little bit of this for blush. Up high. Up high. Up high. Up high. Because again, we want to keep th everything during the day is going to drift down. So we want to go ahead and start high so that when it drifts down, it's like right in the perfect spot. <laughs> and then I go in with some um, of this. They make, in my mind, for my skin, the best um, bronzer. I like it to be a little bit on the warm side, my bronzer. And the By Terry bronzer formula is really nice and warm. Okay, so I have my mascara now on my lower lashes as the camera adjusts. And I use the Lancome Idole. This one, I, I can't tell you enough. At 55, I've used mostly L'Oreal mascara. Then I used a By Terry product for a while and love that. But the L'Oreal, as I aged, it seemed to smudge, not flake, but it would kind of smudge on my lower lashes. And so I had to find something else. And this is like, I, I, I don't even know. It, see how it defines the lashes? It does not budge. I will get home and I will not have any smudging on my lower lash. Smudging on the lower lash is where I have the problem. That product gets rid of that. Okay, so the last thing is Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I just put a little bit right in my third eye and a little bit here and here. All right, and I just tap. Again, I don't use powder over here because that is where over 50s and some over 40s see lots of skin movement. So the wrinkles really move the powder around and they stick and then they accentuate all those little fine lines. Okay. So this product helps with that and don't bring it too far in here because then it will accentuate these lines here. So we just keep it right here, nice and high. I know it seems too high, but promise me, or I promise you. <laughs> See, as I smile, those fine lines. Okay, that's over 50. There's nothing wrong with that. We just have to adjust a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna back you out. <laughs> and give you the full face. And there we are. So, all right, so that's us done for the day. So those are the brows and the eyes super fast. It's now 621. So I did that in about a half an hour while I was trying to quiet Norman and trying to talk to you. And so normally this takes me about 15 minutes. So that's it. Let me know if you like this video. 
If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to ring the bell so you see all the videos that I post. And all my over 50 girls, comment below with your tips. I wanna know what y'all do to, I'm gonna back you up some more. I wanna know what y'all do to um, adjust as we age. There we go. To adjust as we age, I'd like to know if, if you all have any tips. I have picked up these tips along the way from other amazing women. So yeah, so put them below and let me know what you think. Okay, everybody have a great day. Happy Wednesday. See you next time. Bye.